So I'm here at the Ice Arena just setting up for announcing the Adelaide Rush game, the final here. So this is just a quick video showing the setup and how things work. Now we've got the Yamaha mixer here, which is what I put the audio through. I use this mixer as well to mix in my laptop, my iPad, and the computer sound through there, and then I plug a mic directly into here. So that's what I have over here. I've just got a handheld dynamic mic. I've got my XLR cable for my mic, USB cable for that little mixer. I've then got a two RCA to two quarter inch jack um, cable here to plug this mixer <laughs> into this mixer. And then I've got this little cable here, which is just to plug my iPad into here via RCA. So I'll get everything hooked up and then I'll show how it all operates together. All right, we are set up here now. So here is my iPad. Now I use an app called Soundbite, which is uh, this one here, to trigger all of the sounds here. So I've got, I'm playing two songs at once at the moment. So I've got all of my songs here. I've got uh, gold horns, I've got the anthems, I've got the songs I play during the game and they're all set up there. I've then got up on my laptop, I've got a running sheet here, which I haven't updated yet, which just has a bit of a, a schedule of how things are running, as well as all of my different announcements, sponsors, anything I need to say, I can scroll through that and use that. I've also got a spreadsheet here, which is my player name spreadsheet. So I've designed this one so that I can just pop in the names here and that helps me read out the announcements after each goal and penalty and things that are happening during the game. Now let's take a look at the audio video setup that we have here. Now I'm not using a video setup for this game but we have an HDMI cable which actually hooks up to this device over here which is around the corner here. Now at the moment it's on number one there. Number two is the uh, scoreboard and number three is that HDMI cable. Now there's two there, the one on the right controls this monitor here and then the one on the left controls the outdoor monitor. So you can preview what's popping up by pressing number three on the inside there next to the wall. And then once you're happy with what's up there to make it go out there, you actually press the number three button on the left hand side. And that again, all hooks up via this HDMI cable over here. So for the sound, I've got this microphone, which is plugged around here and through there into the back there into port number two here. And so this is on channel two and it's kind of our pre-fader level there where if we have this microphone, this volume up, this controls a speaker, which is back there. And I can test, test one, two. I can test that that microphone is coming through. Now it won't actually go out to the arena until I turn that light on there that enables the actual channel. The same for our music here. I'm on this fader here because I've got it plugged in at the back there to that stereo input. So it's on channel eight. And if I play a song over here, and yes, everything's a little bit fiddly when you touch it. So make sure you have everything down and yeah, it can be a little bit fiddly when you're sort of turning it up and down. It cuts in and out a bit. So that helps you make sure that your testing is set up before you actually send anything out to the arena out there. Now they're the only two channels I use. Up here on this mixer, I can control my computer output if I want to output some sound directly from my PC. And I can use the line output here. The mic and the instrument I don't use on this one, so those are both down. But the line output is controlling how loud the iPad volume is going through here. And then from here, it actually goes through onto this channel. And this fader is what I bring up and down during the game to bring the sound up and down for that. And I use this fader up and down to bring the sound up for the mic. And again, they have to be both on and fader up before it will actually be heard in the arena. Above the mixer is this little display here. So this is where we can say what audio is feeding the main ice and the small ice. So what we do here is I put this over to mixing desk, tap it. I hit the right button. And then on this side, it's actually set to laptop, which is the scorer's laptop, which is over there. That controls the scoreboard and also the siren, so that uh, that we can hear both of those at the same time. With the adrenaline, when there's two stands and we can't use that and we need both of them on the mixing desk, I have to run another cable from the output of that laptop into another channel on the board here, and that way I can have it going through here. But that's a little bit more uh, complex because we have to get the output going in here. But again, it's just a, a three and a half mil jack into two quarter inch plugs that we can plug in to have the siren if we need it separate. But for today, we're going to use the laptop there like so. And it just means that the audio, my audio will be over there above that grandstand on the ice, and then the siren and any other audio will be over here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to complete the ceremonial puck drop for this afternoon's game, please welcome to the ice the co-captain of the Adelaide Crows AFLW team, Chelsea Randall. Can we please have the two team captains to centre ice? Thank you to Chelsea, and now please be upstanding for the Australian National Anthem, performed today by Jeannie Day. Sydney penalty to number six, Chloe Walker. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 11 minutes, 21 seconds. That's Walker, two for tripping at 11, 21. Sydney goal, scored by number six, Chloe Walker. Time of the goal, seven minutes, 30 seconds. That's Walker, unassisted at 7.30. Perth goal scored by number 27, Elizabeth Scala. Time of the goal, 6 minutes, 19 seconds. That's Scala, unassisted at 6, 19.